Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor and I'm on a mission to rebuild and restore this 109 year old classic sailing yacht Tally Ho. Checker and I have to leave for a few days pretty shortly and until then we're going to be working on the next new frame for the boat and we're going to try and rough out all the new fluttocks for that frame before we leave. YouTube gold, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's 9.30 on Tuesday the 8th and Cheka and I are leaving on holiday today. Now, we're not going very far or for very long, but we're going up to Vancouver. Well, we're in Vancouver and we've come here because I've got an interview for a much better US visa at the US consulate here. What you doing? Huh? What you doing? You don't want to get earache. Now the main reason that we're here, other than to have a little holiday for Jekka's birthday, is to go for my final visa interview for my new visa. And that has to happen out of the United States, hence why we're in Vancouver. Now I went for that visa interview and I'm very happy to say that my visa was approved and that's going to mean I can spend as long as I need in the US um, while I'm working on this project, so it's really good news. Now, however, um, they've got my passport at the US Embassy, so we can't go back into the States yet. Got to wait for them to process it, put the sticker in, and get it back to me. Anyway, we've got a little bit of sun for the first time today, so we're going to head up a mountain. And we've been very kindly lent a Land Rover 
so we can deal with the snow a bit better. So we are still in Vancouver, or near Vancouver at least, still staying in a little Airbnb, uh, but still haven't got my passport back or even heard from the embassy. My interview was on Wednesday and it's now Monday. So they said three to five days, but I guess that didn't include the weekend. Alright, so we just got back from Vancouver and uh, had a really nice time away, got my new visa. Um, Hunter is still here to help out, which is awesome, and actually got quite a few more people turning up before Hunter has to leave. So there's going to be two new volunteers coming very soon, and one guy who's been here before and you guys should know from a previous video. Unfortunately, Cheka does have to leave, so I'm going to be taking her to the airport. She's heading back home to England, but hopefully she will be back here before too long. Alright, so this is Finn, and uh, he's the latest um, the latest victim to turn up. <laughs> um, Finn's come up from uh, England, and um, yeah, what, where have you come from and what do you do there? So I've travelled up from East Sussex, south east of England. Back at home I run a, run a small small business, Finn Birch Forestry and Landscaping, um, covering sort of quite a lot of different aspects of garden maintenance and tree care and property maintenance, uh, do quite a lot of external timber work as well. So I built, built a fair few cabins and sort of like rustic rustic structures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Finn's got a load of tool skills and um, you tell me you, you use a chainsaw all the time, so. Yeah, that's yeah I mean, that's that's what I'm trained in, qualified yeah. tree surgeon, so yeah, yeah, experience on saws and yeah. the majority of your other machinery here I've got fairly good experience on, other than this beast. Yeah, <laughs> cool. To come along and be a part of helping out and you know adding to the history of this boat, get it back in, in the water and yeah. yeah, to be a part of that is just, yeah, it's like a dream. It's, yeah. Awesome. Incredible to be here. Well, I really appreciate it. So thanks. Well, thanks I appreciate for I appreciate you allowing me to be here to help. Cool. Thanks very Cheers, much. Man. Cheers. Thanks for coming back, dude. Yeah, happy to be back. Back for like a couple weeks or something yeah. like that. Help you get some frames done while, or the team get some frames done while you're working on the center line.
Okay, and so we've got another volunteer here as well, and this is Nicola. Thanks for coming up, man. Thank you. Ciao, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can't guess, uh, Nicola is from Italy. Yes. <laughs> and uh, oh, we call him Nico for short. Yeah, Nicola actually is my name, but Nico is more simple for British. What do you do at home, Nico? Actually, I am an engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked before in Italy and after in Sweden. But and I decided just to take a break. It's uh, the dream from the childhood to come and yeah. build a boat. I mean, I come from a family of woodworkers. Mm -hmm. That means that I have it in my blood. Yeah. <laughs> <I'd say. laughs> Sawdust in the blood. Exactly. <laughs> Great. Thanks for coming up and um, let's get to work. Absolutely. I'm cool. ready. <laughs> So Finn, tell us what you found here. So, cutting out this frame to the template marks, we've discovered discovered a bullet inside the timber. That's cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So I guess it must have um, been shot into the tree when it was pretty young. Yeah, you know, so it must have happened when the tree was pretty soft for it to be still in quite good good condition. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's the the tip generally you would expect the bullet to be completely obliterated when it sort of entered a yeah an especially object. into live oak exactly right. yeah well this stuff's bloody hard Apparently so cannonballs bounce off yeah yeah <laughs> So the truck just arrived here from Edensor and uh, inside they've got all the timbers for the rest of the centre line for Purple Heart. So we're going to unload it and uh, take it out the back. So we got all the Purple Heart in, we stacked it up, I'm going to cover it up tonight but um, very soon I'm going to be working out and marking these pieces to be cut into the stem and the forefoot, the stern post and the stern assembly uh, to complete the new centre line. What I'm hoping is that now because we've got you know, quite a few people here who are all quite capable um, is that after I've uh, shown them all the processes of the frame building they will be able to more or less take that job over with just a little bit of input from me occasionally and I'll really be able to focus on um, getting these pieces marked out and cut uh, because a lot of that is really a one-man job apart from sort of occasional help with lifting and moving them around.
So at the end of this couple of weeks, um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sets of frames in the boat. The last set has uh, just got to be finished uh, with the notches and the bedding. But that's almost every frame in this centre section of the boat. Just got one more to do, um, which will be 10A. Good work, team. <laughs> Give us three cheers. Or something. <laughs> that was one. <laughs> so I've had a, quite a few people asking me how my finger's doing, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. And um, here it is. Here's my finger and my hand. It's not so gory anymore. And actually, it's really healing remarkably well, I think. Um, it's still a little bit sensitive, but it's actually regained uh, quite a bit of length. Anyway, that's all we've got time for right now. Um, but thanks a lot for watching, and a massive thank you to everyone who's donated or otherwise supported the Tally Ho project. It really does make a huge difference, and it means I'm able to take the time to make and edit these videos. So I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.